Who's ready for 50 sarcastic anime facts on Hunter x Hunter 2011's Hunter Exam Arc? The reason why I'm making a Hunter x Hunter video, despite it getting no hype at the moment, will be explained at the end of the video. Please also remember that this is a do not laugh and do not get triggered challenge. If you win or lose, feel free to let me know in the comments. Now let's get started. Fact number one, Hunter x Hunter is a really good show. So goddamn, let's start triggering some Naruto fans. For luck, Sasuke is a total ripoff of Kurapika from my whole clan was killed and they need revenge to the when I get mad my eyes turn magic and red and shit so people want to steal them total rip off okay now we only need to worry about 49 facts <sighs> number two fuck Gon's mom Gon only wants to find his dad because he knows shonen girls never do shit yeah let's start with triggering everyone no one is safe not Naruto Bleach One Piece Dragon Ball Z My Hero Academia Full Metal Alchemist or even Hunter Hunter even if it's a good show the girls are for the ships or the fan service. To this, I tip my hat at fairy tale. Fact number three: anything really weird or dangerous that happens during or on the way to an exam in anime, there is a 99% chance that it's part of the exam. Fact number four: this big ass hairy dude wearing a suit is actually a teenager because anime. Fact number five: on the same topic, Kurapika is the same age. And spoilers: she's actually a dude because anime. Hashtag Team Felix. Fact number six: Kurapika's ceremonial bathrobe doesn't obstruct his fighting ability because. Because, you guessed it, anime! Fact number seven, Leorio's suit doesn't obstruct his fighting ability. What fighting ability? Shut up, Fox! <clears throat> Because anime! Oh, come on! He can't even survive the theme song without getting his ass saved! Thank you, fucks. Pack number eight! Effective weapons consist of fishing rods, yo-yos, coins, playing cards, spinning tops, knives, and much more. This exam proves to us more than once which is the least effective. Why, it's the knife, of course! Everyone trains to disarm people with knives! Fishing rods, on the other hand, not so much. Hashtag anime logic. Pack number nine! Thunder exam is the sole purpose of weeding out the weak, so as long as you're powerful, it doesn't matter if if you're normal or a total psychopath, that hunter's license can unlock any door for you, even though it turns out to be totally useless, to the point that Gon sells his. Fact number 10, no answer is the correct answer is a nice way to say, you're a dumbfounded fucking moron. Come on through. Fact number 11, Leorio did do important shit here. He was not just a compassionate coward that wouldn't have progressed without the lead male and female characters. Fact number 12, making Kurapika a trap and Leorio a pussy is for gender equality. Fact number 13, Madhouse's animation budget is so good throughout the series, thanks to the lip flap money saved off Satots. Fact number 14, Hisoka's awesome magic arm banishing technique shown here is never actually explained when N is introduced, cause Hisoka can only shoot magic bubblegum. Fact number 15, despite all the gruesome carnage shown throughout the anime, this arm amputation was censored beautifully from the manga with flowers. I don't know, but between you and me, magically disintegrating into flower petals is way creepier than amputation. Fact number 16, two episodes of the condensed 2011 Hunter exam are just Running in a tunnel. When stated that way, it sounds pretty pathetic. When in actuality, it's it's pretty pathetic. Fact number 17. Only an anime can just running through a tunnel be some kind of crazy emotional challenge. Fact number 18. Since Killua brought a skateboard, it was legal to use in the tunnel marathon. In other words, if I brought a jetpack, I'd have passed every part of this exam in a breeze, even though I'm just some otaku editing videos. Fact number 19. Mini Chuba Kim Jong-un, after all, is brilliant calculations. Didn't realize he'd have to be in shape to pass an exam that focuses on psychotic death battles. Fact number 20. By definition, this exam is not a place to make friends. Therefore, no matter the noob, don't drink juice from your competition, especially if he's known as the rookie crusher or doesn't have protagonist hair. Fact number 21. You know there's a protagonist in the room when, quote, this year has the best crop of candidates ever. Fact number 22. He didn't lose the suit. Fact number 23. Saitama barely passed the hero exam, so he tried his luck on the hunter exam. Fact number 24. Whoa! Did Hisoka just throw playing cards at the professional hunter who has to be at least good enough to pass the exam they're currently doing to find out the identity of the villain while at the same time not hurting anyone? He's so evil! Hashtag Hisoka did nothing wrong. Fact number 25. This is an efficient and effective way of running. Screw the Naruto run! Fact number 26. Wow. Hisoka's like literally the most evil antagonist ever. When attacked by a whole bunch of guys, obviously he wasn't supposed to defend himself. Hashtag Hisoka did nothing wrong. Fact number 26. 27. No anime tournament is complete without those completely random midway challenges that are totally useless for the result. Fact number 28. The only reason why they were allowed to retake challenge 2 was because no one passed. Meaning, if there would have been, by chance, one guy out of all the competitors that knew how to cook, everyone else would have failed. In simpler terms, <coughs> 
plot armor. Fact number 29, allowing horrible prisoners to go free in exchange for beating kids at games as incentive reminds us that even an amazing anime like Hunter x Hunter is still an anime at its core. And we make fun of Yu-Gi-Oh! Fact number 30, welcome to the world of anime where rock, paper, scissors is a strategy game where picking randomly would stump any opponent. Fact number 31, Kurapika not killing Blue Dude is literally what Netero tried to accomplish in the finals as a result of the entire tournament. But the collective fan base still wanted it done, you sickos. Fact number 32, Killua's kill is the definition of an extremely low budget yet extremely badass anime attack. Oh, one second, please. Dear Toei Animation, please take a lesson from Hunter x Hunter. We know you have no money to use on One Piece because you're using it all on Dragon Ball Super, but come on! You don't need to make Diablo Jambe look like pasta! Fact number 33, look how much of a bad guy Hisoka is. Holy crap, is he? Is, is he defending himself? What a villain! But Killua was chill. Hashtag Hisoka did nothing wrong. Fact number 34. The fourth phase of the Hunter exam is actually about hunting. While this may seem plainly obvious to many, not only is this the first part of the exam that actually has to do with hunting, but there's no other hunting done for the rest of the series, making the name Hunter nothing more than a name. In his last series, he had spirit detectives, so at least name-wise, he is improving. Fact number 35. Oh my god! Hisoka is such a savage! What a horrible villain! Damn, like the Jake Paul of anime! Holy shit! The audacity to follow the rules to beat Birdman! And help the protagonist! God! Hashtag Hisoka did nothing wrong. Fact number 36. Wait, how is Liorio gonna pass this part of the exam? He isn't physically or mentally stronger than any other competitor. What will he do? Oh. Fact number 37. Well, Hanzu lost this round. Wonderful lover see her again. Well, either way, I don't really care. It's not like she's a character that can get an emotional response from me or anything. Hanzu, why? Fact number 38. My brother, who's extremely into reptiles, gets credit for the following fact, but these snakes you used by Bourbon are not actually cobras. They're pythons, judging by the head shape. Guess they didn't want to hurt any actors or something. Fact number 39. Welcome to the world of anime, where not only is a fishing rod the weirdest weapon the creators can possibly think of for the protagonist, but it's actually the most useful weapon in the situation the protagonist is in. And no, it's not fishing. Fact number 40. How can someone with a sniper rifle lose this challenge? Fact number 41. They spent an entire episode where every character tells Netero who they want to fight and who they want to stay away from. And it is still somehow more awesome than any conversation in Bleach or Fairy Tale. Fact number 42, Bleach and Fairy Tale fans are now triggered. Fact number 43, Bleach and Fairy Tale fans that were triggered should seek psychiatric help because lying to oneself is a condition that must be remedied. Fact number 44, they're more triggered. Good, didn't know how I was gonna get to 50 on this thing. Fact number 45, instead of Gon getting his ass whooped like crazy by Hanzo, a better strategy would have been forfeit and wait till he's either against Leorio or Buckle, cause those guys suck ass. Fact number 46, the only reason why Killua had an out of character breakdown and kill old dude was because there would have been no other way for Leorio to win. Fact number 47, yes, Puckle won! Maybe we'll see him again. Well, I don't really care. It's not like he's a character that can get an emotional response from me or anything. Puckle, why? Fact number 48, hashtag Hisoka did nothing wrong. Fact number 49, thank God, Gilka Tracker Cracker Jacker isn't his real name. Holy shit. Also, he's way creepier than Ahsoka. Fact number 50, the X in Hunter x Hunter, believe it or not, does not represent sex. This is a simple misconception. Due to high school DXD, his ex sis, Masogaku on HXH, and like two dozen hentai. But the main characters are like 10 year old kids. There's nothing sexual about that unless you're a community that fawns over lollies or if the main antagonist is Pedophilius Maximus. So no worries. So the reason I decided to make a Hunter Hunter video now, even though it's getting no hype, is sort of to test the waters how Hunter Hunter would do on my channel. So if you want 50 facts for future arcs in Hunter Hunter, the greatest method of action would be to like and share. If you want more content altogether, I suggest you subscribe. My last sarcastic fact video was 30 sarcastic facts on Stain. So here's my favorite sarcastic fact you guys left in the comments. Fact! Stain is quite edgy. Get it? Edgy? He has tons of knives? I don't even know if that was supposed to be a pun, but since your name is basically dank memes, I'll assume it is. Fact! Tetsu Tetsu and Kirishima would totally destroy Stain, cause they're hard AF. Fact! Actually, on second thought, let's not use this one, but I found a perfect substitution. Fact! Nuxtaku is the all might of YouTube. 
And I think that's a good place to stop. Please, of course, leave your sarcastic facts on Hunter Hunter's Hunter exam arc below so I can show my five favorites at the end of the next sarcastic fact video, which I suggest you subscribe to know when that comes out. I'd also like to immensely thank the editor, the Sword Art Online Dick Writing Association, which aside from having like the greatest channel name ever known to YouTube, actually has some really cool content that I suggest you check out. Link in the description and send in my regards. If any of you want to edit any of my videos, feel free to shoot me an email, nuxtaku at gmail. Com. And if there's any specific topic you want me to cover, offering to edit would definitely make it more likely that I do that. And even though I was saving this for a really intense SAO video I was working on, here's a sneak preview to my merch. If you'd like to buy, I have some up and available right now. Link also in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a most wonderful evening, and I'll see y'all next time.